So let us see how to append multiple CSV files one below the other. So imagine you get multiple CSV files every day, every month. What you can do is you can collect those all files into one folder and you can append those files, CSV files in Power Query, Power BI in just three button clicks, not more than that. Okay. And very simple. Provided the data is clean, underline this thing, which is the data should be clean. Okay, there should be no errors. Then you can quickly combine that. And how do we do that practically? Let us see. So that's a topic we have, how to append multiple CSV files from a folder. So I have this folder kept, the name of this folder is monthly sales file and it's a CSV. Double click and let me open. These are around five or six files I have. And if you see, the name is given based on month, April 2020, Feb 2020 and so on. Based on month wise, I have given the file names. These are all CSV files here. Let me open any one CSV file and let me show you what data I have. If I double click on April 2020, you can see the data is very simple and purposely I have kept very small data. So you can see the data is very small, not so big records, hardly 10 records I've kept. The first column is date, client and sales in million. Okay, these are all the client names I have kept, the date and the sales, nothing else. Only one sheet I have, the name of the sheet is April 2020. Actually, in CSV, we don't have a sheet, but since I have opened in Excel, it is showing as April 2020 as sheet name. So, I'll close this. Don't save. One more file I'll open, any one file, let's say March 2020. And you can see same 10 records and values also something different would be there. Okay values also would be there and the name is different here. You can see this is for March month 03. So I can just close this. Don't save. So if you count here, there are six files. Each CSV file is having 10 records. So output I should get as 60 records. 6 into 10 records, 60 records. Select that path. Okay. Copy that URL or the path of the folder where all the files are kept. Come to Power BI, get data and click on this more button. In this more button, you can import data from many data sources, but we want only from a single folder. I cannot select a CSV because it's not a single CSV. It is the entire folder. Okay. Select the entire folder. Click on connect. Hey y'all, I'm Melissa. And today I wanna to walk you through sharing videos and channels on YouTube when you're on your computer. Let's jump right into sharing videos. When you're watching a video on your computer, just click the share icon under the video. At the top here, you can share a video directly to a social network like Facebook or Twitter. If you ever wanted to share a video and have it start at the good part, you can use this start at option, which links to a specific part of the video. Just check this box and enter the start time before you copy the link. Once you're all set to share, click copy to save the link to your clipboard. Thank you.